Last week, I picked up a Vibe, and this is my going to be my wife's kayak until she makes up her mind as to whether she wants to get an Outback or not. And it's also going to be my buddy kayak for people who want to go fishing and want to try it and haven't been or don't have a kayak yet. I like it. We tried it last weekend. It worked really, really well. It's a good looking kayak. It is 13 feet long. It'll support up to 500 pounds in weight. It came standard with four rod holders built right in. Comes standard with the console. It's pre-drilled for mounting stuff. I'm not too crazy about these Scotty rod mounts because when you put a rod mount in there, it's kind of flush like the drink container. I do like this compartment they put in here. It came forward hatch with a bag in it. The rear hatch also has a bag in it. It had a rudder already installed. Um, I ordered it with the upgraded seat and upgraded paddle. And the base price on these is $7.99. And that's with a little bit less of a seat, a little bit less of a paddle. And the guy I got it from up in Pipe Creek, just north of San Antonio, sold the whole thing to me, including tax. It was $8.60, so it was a pretty good deal. It also came with the scupper plugs, and I've got them put away for right now. The steering is controlled through the pedals. And I took a friend out last weekend, and he was in this, and when he got up, he was not wet at all. So it worked pretty good. Okay, so getting this kayak caused me a problem where I'm going to carry it when I take it. So I went online on Amazon and was looking at ladder racks. And I found this one, which is rated up to 500 pounds. It's made by a company in China, of course. I got it, and I put it up here. I've measured it, and it's a little bit higher than I want it to be. It is 7 feet 2 inches off the ground. And that's a long way to try and be reaching to put a kayak up. I know there's people out there who say, oh, that ain't so bad. But... I don't want to be messing with it, but I think I've come up with a plan on how I can do this where it won't be that high off the ground and it'll work pretty good. So give me a couple minutes. Okay, this is what I came up with. Removed it off the back of the truck and I'm going to mount it right here. I've already checked. I've got enough room to get the boat in and out. Enough room sideways on the sides to get it in and out. It'll work. It'll give me an easy way to carry it. It's easy for two people to load. And I think as if I had to, I could load it by myself without too much of a problem. So, let me get this thing connected up. And let's see what happens. Okay, been to Lowe's, picked up some self-tapping uh, bolts and some washers. And what we're going to do is set them right there in those three holes. And again up here in these holes. Back in a second. Okay, I have the three holes drilled, and now I'll mount the bracket. Okay, so this bracket's on, and one of the things I did is this center pole right here, I marked it at the halfway mark, so I'd have the same amount of support inside each one of these brackets. Now all I gotta do is tighten them all down. Okay, got this one marked where it's going to be. 
And again, I got this one done. You'll notice I put a fourth one in there because it doesn't have the support right here that I wanted it to have. So that should work out pretty good. Okay, we got the last part on. Now for getting this boat on and off, when I bought the trailer, it was a jet ski trailer. And it had these two runners. And so when I took them off, I was smart enough not to throw them away. And I'm kind of glad I didn't throw them away. So now we're going to go ahead and get these things mounted on here. And that's what this is going to rest on when it's traveling. Okay, I'm finished. Took a while, little bit longer than I thought it would. Got everything mounted. We used u-bolts to hold the uh, boards down cut off the extras so it won't hurt it everything looks to be very solid mount it tie down uh, points on the front I used garden hose coming through the problem we were having was by putting the straps over everything was still sliding so going through these and not putting on too much pressure should keep it relatively stable and it's not sliding Everything looks like it's there. I think it's ready to travel.